Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Linda Gregg from her collection, The Sacraments of Desire, published by Grey Wolf Press in 1991. The poem I'm going to read is entitled Singing Enough to Feel the Rain. I am alone, writing as quickly as I can, dulled by being awake at four in the morning. Between the past and future without a life, writing on the line I walk between death and youth, between having and loss, passion and bravery absolutes, and I don't have anything but the memory of Aphrodite's elbow pushing up through the dirt, golden with the sunlight on it. I am far from there, in a hurry not to miss the joining, struggling to explain that this worst time is important. It is just past autumn now, and the leaves are down, wet on the road. Some of her shoulders showed, but not enough to tell whether she was facing my way. Any of it is most of it. Any part, as any part of Cezanne, is almost all of Cezanne. Now is so late in the world that there is silence. Heart is as beautiful as ever. What can we expect of a woman buried in the earth? Most of it is enough. Some of it is almost enough, just as I am a body too. And if he leans down over me, there will be a world. A train goes past, making an incidental sound. Something is nourished by the loss, an ending and beginning at once. The world does not sing, but we do. I sing to lessen the suffering, thinking of the factory girl, Hopkins said, lived a long time on the sacrament alone, but I also sing to inhabit this abundance. And this, is, uh, this was Singing Enough to Feel the Rain by Linda Gregg from the Sacraments of Desire from Grey Wolf Press, 1991. If you've enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Linda Gregg, as well as where to purchase this book, and more information about other projects um, and series I'm involved with. If you uh, like what you are hearing and experiencing in these, these poems and these poetry readings, please do give these videos a thumbs up and comment below if you wish. Uh, let me know what it is that you like about these videos, what you like about these poems, and if you have encountered these poets before. Uh, I'm also always excited to hear of other poets that you would recommend, um, other books that are out there that I might encounter, and I happily take your recommendations, uh, do my best to research and find ones that fit with the format um, of the series. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you for your suggestions and your insights. Uh, along the way. And uh, if you want to support this channel, it's very easy to do so. In addition to liking videos, you can always, um, well, hit the subscribe button, you know, and the little bell icon, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, or just share these videos on social media. And all this is really to support uh, and help spread the word about these poets and these poems. Uh, my hope is that in some small way, uh, each time we, we encounter something new, discover a new poet, a new poem, it expands our own uh, understanding of poetry, our own understanding of what it means to be human and what that could mean for ourselves as writers, as creators, as human beings in this human experience. Um, there are so many things that I love about reading poetry and encountering other people's work and trying my best to inhabit it um, when I give these readings. Uh, I hope in some small way that it brings joy, excitement, interest to you, and that it inspires you to create as well. So um, until next time, this is, I'm, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again soon with more poetry and more reading. Uh, until then, stay safe and well. Uh, do your best to be uh, engage with the world, find opportunities to share your art and your vision with others, and listen and experience the work of others and bring it into your world. I think in these ways we, we collapse the barriers and the distances between us, just as technology bridges the gap for us. Language, literature, art, music, these things also uh, bring us together in a way that 
is beyond perhaps imagination or perhaps because of imagination. So until next time, keep imagining, keep creating, and we'll be back again with more poetry. Till then, goodbye.